In this video we're dealing with even and odd functions, so we're assuming that g of x is an even function and we want to find the value of m. Well first off, if g of x is an even function, that means g of negative x equals g of x. That is the definition of an even function. Now m is equal to g of negative 2. So g of negative 2 equals m. Well, look at what this definition says. g of negative x equals g of x. So g of negative 2 equals g of 2 because it's an even function like, like x squared. Whether you put in negative 2 or 2 you get the same answer. So m is equal to g of negative 2 which is equal to g of 2 which according to our table is equal to 5. And so m should be 5. h of x is an odd function, so once again it's important to know the definitions. h of negative x, if it's odd, equals negative h of x. These are important definitions. We want the value of n, which is h of 2. Okay, so let's see what we can figure out. Well, let's apply this definition. Well, we know that h of negative 2 is equal to negative h of 2. <clears throat> this is by our definition. Now, let's see what we know in here. It's h of 2 that we're looking for h of negative 2 we do have because h of negative 2 is negative 7. So negative 7 equals negative h of 2. Alright, so we're almost there. The only thing we got to do is multiply both sides by a negative 1. So h of 2 equals a positive 7. So it's important to know these definitions. Remember that even says whether you put in a negative or a positive of the same value or the same magnitude, you get the same output. So whether you put in negative 2 or 2, you get the same output. Odd says if you change the sign on the input, you change the sign on the output. So make sure you know those definitions.